It's a rainy night coming late out of the dojo No lights dark out on the parking lot Looking for my car, thought I left it here before Got a feeling that something ain't right Moving shadows, hear the sound of two feet See my car where my keys, kind of getting spooky Oh God, now it's coming from behind My cell is gone dead as I slowly turn around and go oh, oh. Guys, welcome back to the Strangerville Stranger Files with our little mystery solvers. And as you can see, Celeste aged up into a beautiful little blue toddler. And she got them ginger jeans. She got them ginger jeans, and she's so freaking adorable. She and uh, Orion are just gonna be sort of looked after here. Seb's gonna go to work, Audrina's going off to work. Casey and Cody are gonna be on. Uh, they're gonna both be on duty for doing uh, mystery solving stuff today so I'm, first things first is I'm going to have them actually go oh wait when is this open? No, they've got three hours until they have to go and see Owen about the spore clusters so why don't you for now harvest these fruits because people just keep nurturing them and that's not good and Casey ate something with meat in that she really shouldn't have which was a big faux pas on her her and Audrina's off to work. She's going to be heading to the lab with them tonight. Oh, crap. Just my luck. Casey, extinguish yourself. Did you just not, did you not clean the lint tray out? My... Oh, Casey, you absolute... You absolute nutter, you. Alright, do that and clean out the vines, because that was just annoying. That was just annoying. Seb's got to go off to work uh, at 8. Audrina's heading off to work as well. Great, now I've got to replace that. And just leave all that. The laundry The laundry is clean and damp, so that's fine. Celeste and uh, yeah, poor little Ryan, they're up here. They're going to just be sort of doing their own thing. They'll be up here for today. They'll be fine. Seb can just quickly clean this up. And Cody, you and Casey are going to be going to Erwin in a little bit. Even though he's wearing a gas mask currently, this is very cute stuff. This is very cute stuff for watching. Poor little... Are you crunch your next day? Go and play with your triceratops. That'll make you feel better. That'll make you feel better. On my own from being independent. Yeah, they're both independent toddlers. This will actually be useful because it means they get to do their own little things. Their own little things. Okay, Cody. That's fine. For now, why don't you go and head on over here with Casey. Because then you guys have to go and start looking for scientists after. Because they've got to get the spore filter. Well, they've got to get the hazmat suits. Then they've got to get the spore filters. And then they've got to wait for the spore filters. Then they have to go to the lab with Audrina because Audrina needs to go and check things out because her boss has asked her to do that. They need because they're hearing reports about you know people breaking in so yeah. she's just like I'll go and check on things and no it's also because you know she knows who's breaking into the lab. Hopefully there will be scientists around that we can talk to. Oh god all the look at that all the plants have been like all nurtured. Everyone's just nurturing the plants so they're all like popping up. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Okay, Erwin's here. What's up, Erwin? We haven't seen you in a while. Let's go and question Chupa. about those spores. Let's question about those Purple spores and get that, get that hazmat suit. Wixen. He's just like, what's up, Erwin? Long time no see. I've been investigating the lab and there's these crazy spores everywhere. Like, don't breathe them in because they make you go weird. That kind of thing. I just love like, the exaggeration. So I've got a couple hazmat suits. Don't know. I don't have the heads for them, but you know, if you want them, go ahead. And he's like, yep. It's just all I need. Also, I just realized that Cody actually has. A nice butt. Might also just be the way it curves. It's a good butt. 
It's a very nice butt, if I say so. What are you doing? Why are you getting water? I told you to come over here, Casey. I know you're tense because of everything scaring you. You want to get water as well? Okay. You don't need to. I'm going to get you to go and start looking for scientists. There should be some around. Oh my god, is that... <gasps> He's kind of bugging out. Oh my god, the hitman. For the record, this is a hitman. This is a hitman Sim put down. I did not expect to see him. But this is very, very... Like, concerning that he's in Strangerville. <laughs> very, very concerning. Alright, let's go and look for some scientists. Because hopefully there should be some around. All the conspiracy theorists are going absolutely nuts. Let's use... Haha, science man. Alright. Go over and... Just introduce yourself to him and then try and get the get the word out. There's a couple going around, so that should be fine. As for you, Casey. Oh crap! I didn't tell tell Cody to. Crap. Uh, okay, I'm gonna send him alone then. He'll go off and then he'll just bunk off work. I completely forgot to give him the day off. Oh man, you know what? Just fine. Just you're not going into work today. He's not going into work. We don't need it. Alright, Strangeville. Question about the spores in the lab, Casey. She's like, I assume Cody spoke to you about the uh, spores. We're going to need to get some hazmat suits if you cut the time. Or if you got any. I mean, she's still walking around like this in, like, broad daylight. I was probably thinking, and I thought I dressed, like, oddly. Guys, <laughs> Alright, let's grab the hazmat suit and then we'll also join Cody in on that venture to uh, speak to the science man. Alright. So, you're here with Carl, you're having a nice conversation with him. Strangeville investigation, question him about the spores in the lab. Because you've got a load of them. Chemical Use a chemical analyzer at the secret lab to construct the infection profile data. Alright, looks like we're heading over to the lab again in a little bit. The kids are off a daycare. Cody and Casey are now at the lab. They're like, right, we got to craft these spore filters for this guy. That's going to be fun. We might have to invite him over in a little bit then. Alright, let's get oh. into the outfit. Let's go and use the key card. And then we'll go and craft these filters because we're gonna go find out today what is down at the bottom of this lab I mean I know what's at the bottom of the lab already <laughs> Cody's like just oh crap worker calling worker calling at this point Cody you're not going in so it's fine just ignore work ignore work Gygax can find someone else to cover to cover for you maybe he can call up Aries Alright, there were, yeah, chemical analyze here, so you construct yours there, and you construct yours there. Here they go. They're like, this is where we construct them? This is such a weird looking, like, lab. And he's like, eh, the lab I work at is not too bad. It's not as crazy as this one, but it's fine. They're both there just, like, constructing their spore, the spore datas together. By the time Audrina gets home, She'll be able to head down to the lab with them, although she's very tense because somebody set the uh, goddamn washing dryer on fire. Although they do feel, they both feel a lot better that they're down in like a basement, I noticed. Oh. Although there's also one like all the way over here as well. Kind of cool. And then there's just like a room full of like. You can try and swipe the barrels. Don't try and swipe the barrels. Tell you what though. Attempt to swipe that. <laughs> I'm not sure if Casey will care. But I just want to see if we can steal these. Because I just love the idea that we can just steal things from like the lab. Like all the little clutch pieces. So you got the plants. You got all these like data things. There should be like, uh, maybe it's not down here. It's maybe it's below ground where the uh, where the um, broken 
the screens off. And now these are just like I think these are actually like where all the plants are. Alright, that's perfect. So I'll have to head back in a bit and see about finding uh calling up Mr. Science Man, inviting him over, then getting those spore filters. <laughs> and he successfully swiped it. Cool. Okay, you two head on back. They're gonna head on back, they're gonna invite over Mr. Science Man, and they're gonna be like, here's your profile data. Let's go and where was the scientist man? Was he called Ken? Carl. Yeah, Carl, that was it. I'm, I feel like I'm rushing, but I'm on a bit of a time constraint today because I've got a lot to do. And I did start recording this earlier today, but my game crashed and I just got so mad and then I had to go out and do things as well. So I'm trying to get through this like fairly quickly, fairly quickly, but not too quickly, which is also where everyone had like max needs because... I can't be dealing with their needs when I'm dealing with plot, essentially. But they're all good. They're like, right, we've got these datas. Let's head on home and call up this Carl guy and hopefully we'll be able to go and traverse to the deeper part of the lab. Okay, Ryan and Celeste are back from daycare. Where's Cody? He's on his computer. Okay, that's great and all being on the computer, but you do need to call up Carl and then actually as well... I might have you call up Ares and invite him over as well because you're going to need a big favour out of him. No more, we're not having a seasonal party. Okay, Carl is on his way. Mr. Science Man is on his way. So let's go and just quickly meet Mr. Science Man. That's his name, Mr. Science Man. There he is. Alright, Mr. Science Man. We've got those profile datas. Alright, yeah, they got to have a higher relationship with him, so they're going to have to chat and get to know him and basically try and just get enough of a friendship up with them that they can get those spore filters crafted. Okay, Aldrina's back from work. That's all good. The kids are hopefully still in their room. I do not actually know where the kids are. Okay, they're up here. They're up here. They're fine. They're up here in the fine. That's all good. But now for they need to get the friendship up with him. So just chat. Be cool. Don't know why he's in a flirty mood looking at Casey. Sure. Carl hates children. Wow, that's an unfortunate trait for Cody to learn. <laughs> or for Casey, but still also a very not a great not a great trait for Cody to learn. Either Seb's back as well. Oh, you're all stuffed up with the cold. That's not good. Cool. So he's got those. Right, we can say goodbye to him now. We can say goodbye, Carl. It was fun chatting with you. But now it's time for you to go. Everyone can get leftovers. Because now we've got to go and get these. You can get some leftovers as well. Yes, yeah, so now we've got to wait for the uh, spore filters to get through now. Then we can assemble the hazmat suits and then we can go and traverse to the to the lab. Okay, 5am. Casey is the first one awake. The toilet broke so she's going to repair that. Everyone has to sleep. The kids are asleep as well. They finally nodded off. Finally nodded off. You need to go potty before you have an accident in your diaper and you're also in a very in a bit of a mood so I'm also gonna grab them some baked potatoes because there's baked potatoes there we go 
grab serving of baked potatoes, it'll be fine for that, and then you can have something to eat as well. Hopefully the spore filters should arrive today and then we can go to the lab and I think everyone is going to be taking the day off work. Cody's going to be taking the day off work, Seb's going to be taking the day off work because he's got to look after the kids and Aldrina's taking the day off as well. Alright, Aldrina, you're not going into work today. You're taking paid time off. Cody's up. He's also hungry. I'm going to have him phone up work and say, you're not going in. Casey doesn't have a job so it's fine and Seb is up and probably also gonna take paid time off as well because this should be the big day we find out what's going on in the lab. Currently Aldrin I think is just doing all the chores. Yeah so wash the laundry, take everything out of that and then just pick up all the clothing piles. <laughs> Oh, hang, you're supposed to stay up in the barn. The barn is where you're safe, okay? The barn is where you're supposed to be safe. What can you do? What can you do? Why don't you try and max out your imagination? Yeah, do that. Do that. He's like, are you sure they're going to be okay up in the barn? It's like, the barn is fine. The barn is fine. Nobody goes in the barn. They're safe up there, even if they do try and escape every so often. Right. You should be... Yeah, you're on vacation, thankfully. Alright, please tell me those spore filters are going to arrive today, because we're going to need those spore filters. And then we can head to the lab. I might also have Cody call up Ares and ask him for a big favour as well. Do that after. You may want to get changed if you're going to be going talking to him. Yep, Ares is on his way over. Here he is. Coming over. Just like what could be the big thing that he needs me to come on over. So Ares has shown up, which is all good. Oh, he put you, you put him straight into a flirty mood. That's great. Okay, for now I just need you to go and just talk to him and be like, you're not going into work today, are you? Because I'm doing something pretty big today and I need you. I need your help for this. And it's like, what do you need my help with? And it's like, I need you to look after my uh, my daughter for me and he's like I'm sorry you're what now you're what now and he's like just follow me to the barn just follow me to the barn okay Casey meanwhile still dancing <laughs> still dancing away and we're still waiting on those spore filters which I hope they arrive they better arrive I have a shower first though Shower, you are not going outside in your underwear, Seb. You're going to stay in here and dance in your underwear. Because that's a much better use of your time, I'd say. Just going to have Audrina clean up. Cool. I. Where does Ares go? Ares. Where are you off to? Have you just decided to just head on back into the house? Yes, you have. Ares is coming, it's just like, I'm seeing two blue toddlers. Do you mind explaining? He's like, yep, I can explain everything. So you know how I'm Wait. kind of always frequently getting abducted? And he's like, lives. yeah, you tell me a lot. And he's like, well, guess what? The That little one with the ginger hair is mine. This is my cousin's. And currently, yeah, I need you to look after her. Okay, that was very just random. That was a bit random, but sure. Do 
just be just like, bro, I need you to look after it because I'm about to go yes, to the lab and we're going to do something Absolute very big. Zay, and if something goes wrong, yes, I need to know that you are going to be able to take care of these two, should something, well, at least care, take care of mine if something happens. Alright, and he's like, bro, it's all good. They, they call each other bro still. Yes, you know He's like, would you be able to look after her if something goes wrong, if I don't come back? And he's like, well, if you don't come back, sure. Sure, I'll just, I'll make sure the kids... Okay, everything is happening. Casey, go to the mailbox. Go to the mailbox, take out the trash, then go to the mail. I think these two are... Yeah. I think Ares is like, don't you worry, bro. I'll look after your little girl for you should something happen. You can trust me. He's like, thanks, bro. I knew I could count on you. Did you have the two spore? Did you grab both? Yeah, you got both the spore filters. Okay. So combine your spore filter. I'm going to pop this one on the ground because this one is Cody's. I'll pop it in here. How have you got so much stuff, Cody? Half this stuff, I swear he's stealing it. He is definitely stealing half stuff. Okay, so they've got their hazmats assembled. You need to go to the bathroom, that's absolutely fine. Because now it is time to go and find out just what is at the bottom of this lab. They're all here. They're going to head on over to the door. And they're gonna go and get through this door. These guys are just like, they're like, hey, Aldrina, thanks for coming along with us. We're gonna need your help just in case we do find something really bad down there. She's like, no worries. All my military training prepares me for something like this. And I'm gonna be going into covert ops soon anyway, so this should be okay. Also, you two need to get into your hazmat suits. So, equip. Equip. Alright. Go down here together. Because Audrina can't go through the the corridor until all the spores disperse. That's gonna be the thing. So she's like, are you guys sure about this? That corridor does not look safe. And it's like, that's why we got these hazmat suits. That's why we got these hazmat suits. Look. I can go in here through. It's absolutely fine, see? Even Casey's just like, yeah, don't worry. Once we get this through this door and all these spores disperse, we'll give you the signal to come down, okay? She's like, well, okay, I'll just be here waiting then. Alright, Cody. Use your key card. Now that they've gone th through, well, the spores should start dispersing now. I think Aldrina should be able to get through. Coda being just like, oh man, this place goes even further than we thought. But it's all good. It's all good. And then this is just like, oh man. Oh, look, there's even like arms and stuff as well. <gasps> Cody's just like, I have a mighty need. Cody just has a mighty need and just swipes one. <laughs> They're just like, just like Cody, you're not stealing that. And he's like, damn it. But I really wanted to steal it. But I really wanted to steal it. He's like, you can't steal it, okay? And he's like, well then fine. Fine, I guess we'll, I'll come back for it later then. Aldrina being the more encumbered like, because Casey let him steal one of the other plants, and Aldrina is just like, Cody, no. No. We don't steal in this household. And he's like, I've been stealing so much stuff from work that you guys just have not been able to realize. I don't know if Why? Casey will be will have to open up the door by herself. Because she's technically passed through the toxic hallway. He's just like, oh god, you want to see this, guys. They're like, what, what exactly is this? Yeah, I need her to go back through basically by herself. 
So when they're like, oh my god, what is this? Audrina are going straight in. She's like, don't worry guys. My military training has prepared me for this. I'm gonna go and just see if we can... what Just what this thing is. She's like, okay. It seems okay. <laughs> that just like, Audrina, are you sure you should be doing this? Oh god. No. Oh god, I made a mistake. Cody is just like, Audrina, be careful, okay? Audrina, be careful. Cody, Casey and Cody are just like, we're just gonna stand over here. Oh god, they just slapped him. Oh no, and it's got her. She's like, oh no, 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 no. They're like, Audrina! Audrina? She's like, oh god, what? Oh god. And it, she's just like, oh, what on earth just happened there? And he's just like, you just got beat up by a plant. She's like, did I? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. I'm not gonna let this thing taunt me. Like, it's a plant. What can it do? Cody's like, are you seeing the size of this thing? It's like 12, 12 50 feet tall. We cannot take this on. And she's like, I'm military. This is what I do. He's like, I really don't think this is something you should be doing. Even Casey's like, we, I agree. Like, we, what are we gonna do? Like, should we, tr should we try and like fight it? Should we try and fight it with this? Like, I don't know. Oh god. Oh no, Audrina! Oh my god. Oh god, the plant just ate Audrina. I've, okay, I've never seen that happen. Apparently she's still here. The plant ate her. Can she fight her way out? I just... They're just like... Oh, Trina, what have you done? Discovering aliens. Was that from discovering the plant? Oh, God. They're like... Like, it's super, like, pissed at them. Oh my god, Audrina got eaten. Oh no, she's dead. Oh no. Oh god, this is what happens in the horror movies. Someone always dies. Oh no. What are these doors? What are these doors? I never actually realised what these doors were. They're just like... Cody, that thing ate her. Cody, we need to get up. It left her. Thank, thank god it left her un. Cool, just take that so we can get out of here. It's her death of- I'm sorry, the death of a pet? No! Audrina was a person! <laughs> I'm not sure why death of a pet has just turned up. Nothing's like- Oh my god, the plant ate and killed her. I didn't realise that was a thing that could happen in this game. Audrina was just gonna try and bat it around and see if she could get a feel for this thing. She's arrogant like that, and, you know, just because the thing beat her at once she wasn't gonna let it stop her. And now she's been eaten. These guys are just like, what the hell do we do? They're like, what the hell are we gonna do? She's dead. This thing just ate her. We cannot let this thing live. She's like, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know what we're gonna do. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Seriously, look at it. It's big, it's blue, and it kind of looks like something that I really shouldn't say that it looks like, but honestly, my mind is just going there looking at it. They're like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Cody? Cody's like, I don't know. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I told Ares to look after my daughter today. She's like, well, what are we gonna do? I'm, I'm honestly stumped. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're not gonna have enough people to fight this thing now. We've just lost someone who were gonna, who was supposed to help us with this thing. He's like, what are we gonna do? Cody just earned some money. Great. He's like, you know, this isn't just like we gotta tell Kira what happened. She's like, oh crap, Kira. Oh god, what are we? Oh. Oh god. He's like, well, on the one hand, now we know what's what's been possessing everyone. On the other hand, this thing just ate our friend. It's like, do we do we attempt to communicate with it? Maybe. He's like, let's not. Okay. 
we need to talk to Kira and we need to tell her what happened. I need to talk to Ares. Because, oh man, is this thing absolutely terrifying. And you know what, guys? I'm going to have to end it on these two just sort of standing here in front of this big mother plant who's phoning. Ares apparently literally just heard, but sure. But they're here just like... Look, they're here. They don't know what to do. And the plant is just here digesting Audrina. I'm also very cold and literally shaking because I'm just so cold right now. But, oh man. Oh, what do we do? Eva, uh, Casey is like literally upset. And Cody is just like, I think Cody's just like, not only just realized the gravity of the situation, but they are both probably feeling some immense guilt right now. Because, like, they asked Audrina to come along and help them in case anything should like happen. And she literally went full on ahead and just charged in, trying to see if she could, like, do some damage to it. And the consequence was really bad. And now not only has Kira lost her girlfriend, but Audrina has... Audrina's parents and grandparents don't know that she's dead now. They've got to tell them... And Audrina was left the house, so who's going to be left the house? And these guys are like, what is going to happen now? Audrina was the reason we came out to Strangerville, because she had the house for us. And it's like, what do we do? What do we do? I will see you guys all in the next episode of Stranger Files. I just want to know, am I insane? Can hear